Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make a sort of like a folded letter, like papery letter or sticker um, tutorial. Um, it's actually pretty quick and simple. First off, number one, get your type tool and write your letter or your text or whatever. We're gonna go with the word fold. Makes sense, right? Um, we're going to change this to some big bold font, but you can, this works with any type of font. You don't have to use this. Um, I'm going to press shift command O. This will create my outlines. Otherwise you could have gone to type create outlines. Next, I'm going to grab my um, rectangle tool make by background. I should have done this right away. Right click, arrange, send to back. Um, let's have our background blue. Command two to lock your background in place. This way, this way you don't move it around accidentally. I'm then gonna make my text um, orange. You can choose whichever colors you want. You don't have to use the same colors I'm using. Um, I'm then going to grab my line segment tool and I'm going to draw lines where I want the folds to be. So I want a fold here. Um, one over here. I want the L to be folded in like a really long fold. Kind of like this. And um, let's fold my D the other way around. Right, now you're going to select everything. Grab your shape builder tool. You select your fill color again. Oh, where'd it go? Orange. Um, and you are going to click this will create separate shapes. So this is not going to be one shape anymore. Since I clicked on both, it's going to be two separate shapes. Click on all, then I'm going to hold down the alt or option key and delete these extra lines that hang out of my letters. Now go to object ungroup. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now you're going to select your folded triangle and you're going to rotate it by 180 degrees. So opposite side, make sure it, it sits on the front of the other letter. Now you're going to click on this, which is the gradient tool. Make sure you're on the fill, not like I did that I added a gradient stroke. Make sure here the top the fill color is on top. Click on gradient. Then you're gonna click on the dark spot and you wanna choose the same color of your letter and the other side is gonna be white. You can then press G G on your keyboard. I like to click and drag and you can adjust the gradient. I'll do something like this. Then I'm gonna go to effect stylized drop shadow and i'm going to add a shadow i'm going to move it this way towards the inside and move it back so that i get i'm going to reduce the opacity but i get a little bit of shadow just a little bit i'm not i don't want too much but that's your paper effect. And you want to do that with all your uh, other letters. So rotate, press G on your keyboard, add a gradient. If it doesn't show like this, it means your letter is on the bottom, your type is on the bottom. So just right click and arrange, bring to front. And there you go. Add this shadow effect. Stylize drop shadow. Right. Same for the L. It's pretty cool, right? Now 
when this happens you don't want to actually rotate it um, 180 you just want to right click on it transform reflect and you want to reflect it vertical and then rotate it so that you get this type of fold otherwise it doesn't really make sense anyways fix up your gradient up something like this effect drop shadow all right last one flip it I'm gonna oops I'm gonna add the gradient uh, bring to front fix it up all right and add my drop shadow again and there we have our folded text you can also select all command G to group it and add another drop shadow to the bottom of your text um, so that you get a nice and cool like shadowy effect like this And um, that's basically it. That's all you have to do. It's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give this um, a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Also comment if you have any tutorial suggestions um, or anything you want to tell me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon hopefully tomorrow and uh, otherwise in a couple of days thank you so much for watching have a good day bye